Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, it is still Tuesday. It is July 21st, 2020. Uh, we're getting a little overcast now. It looks like we may have some rain coming in, which would not be a bad thing. We'll take it if it happens. Okay, so um, obviously I did a video earlier today. And uh, so Heather had to go and uh, get some blood work done today from her doctor's appointment so we had to go um, out to get uh, that done so I wanted to talk about you can't make this stuff up and that's the title of my video you can't make this stuff up all right uh, and you really can't so I'm gonna say it verbatim basically what I heard on the radio and then we're gonna discuss it okay so on the radio the news person or the radio person, whoever it was, I think it was the radio person said this, uh, the DJ, if you will. St. Louis couple uh, charged with a felony for brandishing. Now you gotta, I'm gonna love, you gotta love this, okay? Brandishing their weapons um, at peaceful protesters. Now this is the part that I just love, and I'm like, what? Then the guy goes on to say, yeah, this couple, um, the guy with his, uh, you know, um, oh, okay, polo shirt on, tucked into his khaki shorts, like, what does that have to do with anything? Um, I don't care if the guy is sitting around in his own home, let's just remember that too, okay? Sitting around in his own home in a bozo outfit, if that's what makes him comfortable, but he happened to be wearing... Um, you know, a khaki shirt, or I mean, a, a polo shirt tucked into his khaki pants, okay? This is what this guy says, all right? Um, you know, talk, and talking about, well, they, they have been charged with a felony for brandishing their weapons at peaceful protesters. Now, what he failed to mention, which I find hugely ironic, so if you heard that story, you would think, oh my God, I can't believe these people would do something like that. Why would these two white people bring out guns and brandish them at peaceful protesters? What he failed to mention was a couple of things, okay? Uh, first of all, they're on their own property. These so-called peaceful protesters had broken down a gate, okay, um, on a clearly posted gate that said private property, private road, but they broke that down. So we're not going to talk about that part of it, of course, because, you know, they're so peaceful. They're very, very peaceful. Remember that now. Um, they're on these people's property. You have a right to defend your property. I don't care who you are, okay? So uh, that, was, that was one of the main things that they failed to mention. They also failed to mention in this news story. All right, so the district attorney um, is the one bringing these charges who is, of course, you know, um, a bleeding-heart Democrat, you know. There's Mr. A.B. What's up, A.B.? I know what. Hi, baby boy. How are you? You good boy. Yeah, so you say hi to everybody. So, I think he probably wants to go in. So, anyway, um, what they also failed to mention was the uh, Attorney General for the state... Of Missouri and the governor for the state of Missouri want these charges dropped because they're ridiculous uh, these people have a right to protect their own home and if they are in fear for their lives I'm sorry if I'm in my home and chilling out relaxing and a group of people break down my gate which I don't have a gate because I'm way out in the country but if they break down my gate and are on my property I don't know what their intentions are so yeah, I'm probably going to come out of my house armed to defend myself. Now, you know, you have the right to do that. Uh, you know, so anyway, it, it's just it just goes to show you how things are spun on the media. And if you aren't educating yourself, if you're not paying attention, uh, how things can become twisted so that it fits a narrative that they want it to fit. Uh, I, I was absolutely amazed 
absolutely amazed when I heard this. I was I was so freaking mad, to be honest with you. I turned the radio off. <laughs> I was like, I said, I, like I said, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, the and and here's the worst part. More than half of the people that probably listened to that news story just went, oh my God, that's horrible. I can't believe those people did that. Without doing any research of their own, finding out the backstory of it, finding out the truth of what was going on, you know. Um, so the other, the other thing I wanted to talk about really quickly, so all these, you know, different, uh, and, and here, here's something else that I want you to remember. And again, like I said, I, I'm not... You know, I hate politics, as you guys know. If any, anybody that's watched this channel for any length of time knows, um, in my opinion, left and right are two birds of the same, or two wings of the same bird, two sides of the same coin. Their agenda is one agenda, which is to help make more money for the rich friends and line their own pockets. That's my opinion on on politicians. Okay, but anyway, right now, a lot of these cities where uh, the rioting and the protests continue and continue and continue. Uh, they're Democratic-run cities. Democratic mayors, uh, you know, Democratic governors of those cities that are allowing this to continue on because obviously there is an agenda with that. So Trump is, you know, bringing out the Department of Homeland Security. He's bringing out the Border Patrol. And they're squashing this stuff, which they have every right to do because these people continue to target federal buildings and all this type of stuff, and it needs to stop, okay? But, of course, you know, they're all up in arms because, oh, how dare they come in and, you know, subvert our authority. Well, you know what? Again, and I said this the other day in my live stream, if you have, you know, uh, politicians that are not protecting their citizens from this lunacy that is going on, then somebody else has to step up and do it. And again, um, I'm going to say good for the president for you know doing it. And I'm going to tell you what, I wouldn't care if he was a Republican or a Democratic uh, president. When you have people continuing with this nonsense for 47 days, this isn't about Floyd. This is not about Floyd. This is an, an agenda, and they have a, a reason why they're doing it, and it needs to stop. Okay, and so you know, if the federal government needs to come in and step in and drop the hammer, then let them drop the hammer. Um, the president has told Cuomo in New York City, take care, or and de Blasio, you know. And here's the other thing I want you guys to remember so crime's up everywhere, right? Crime is up everywhere, it's going crazy, uh, it's a terrible situation, and stuff like that. But why, why is one of the reasons? Why is one of the reasons crime is up everywhere? Oh, that's right. Because of COVID, we've released all kinds of prisoners from the prison system. Ridiculous. What do you think is going to happen? And how many have them been have been rearrested? And of course, let's not forget here in New York State, we have the catch and release program going on right now. So if you get caught for a crime, you're probably not going to go to jail, depending on what the crime is. They're just going to put you back out on the street and give you a ticket and say, now listen. You need to be good and behave until we decide at some point in the future uh, to take you to court. I mean, it's insanity, guys. It just, it's just absolute insanity, and it makes absolutely no sense. Again, there is an agenda. Um, the president has told Cuomo, get your city, meaning New York City, because that's where the nonsense for the most part is happening. I know it's happening in Rochester, New York as well. Um, I'm not sure what the situation in Buffalo and Syracuse are or Albany. Okay, because those are Democratic strongholds, of course. But I'm going to tell you what, out here in the country, life is normal. Uh, people are not acting foolish and stupid. And you know why? And I've said this again, guys, and I'll say it over and over again. The reason people don't act stupid and foolish out here is because out here in the country, everybody's armed. And we're not going to tolerate nonsense. That's why, okay? Um, it is unbelievable what is going on. Uh, and it's just like, if you can't see through it, I hope, you know, if you have at least three or four brain cells banging around in your head, you can see through the BS that is happening and, and the, what the agenda is and what is going on. It is amazing to me. I can't believe more people are not, you know, up in arms over the situation. I really, I can't believe it. Um, and again, I think it's going to come to a point where the average citizen has had enough is enough. 
and they'll take the law into their own hands um, when these politicians are tying the hands of the police, when they're trying to defund the police, and giving these criminals free reign. It is absolutely ridiculous, and it needs to stop. That's my opinion, of course. I'm just sharing that with you. Oh, I did want to um, mention something. Um, so on my on my website now there is the link is set up for Djanga or Djanga. Listen, what am I? Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Jadego. All right, is it? Is, no, no. Oh my God, I can't even think of how to say the name right now. Jadega. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jadega. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I apologize. Um, jdega.com is the uh, CBD and hemp store um, that I am associated with. That link is now on my homepage, um, on my website as well, preppernurse1.com. Okay. And so if you go to my website and you see that, you click on the link, it will take you to jdega.com. So if you make a purchase, in order to save 15%, you put in the discount code Prepper Nurse One. Well, I guess a lot of people are putting in exactly that Prepper Nurse O N E. That's not right. It's Prepper Nurse and then the number one, okay? Just like my name, Prepper Nurse One, the number one. Um, just like my website, Prepper Nurse One, the number one, not O N E, okay? So that's the discount code. Um, when you check out, if you use that coupon code, you will save 15% on your purchases. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys um, so you knew because I had talked to um, Becca today and she said a lot of people were trying to put in P-R-E-P-P-E-R -E -E and U-R-S-E-O-N-E -E and wondering why the discount code wasn't working. Okay, so that is why you have to use Prepper, Nurse, and then the number one. So... All right, so that clears that up, hopefully, for everybody. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's definitely a company I want to be behind. Um, you know, CBD products are fantastic. And, uh, you know, like I said, I wanted to transfer that savings on to you guys. And that's why we have the discount code um, for you, you know, if you want to make that purchase. Okay, so just putting that out there. Um, again, I want to remind people also on my website at PrepperNurse1.com, we have the Prepper Nurse One community, which I think is an important community. Um, we put that together for you guys, okay? It's for like-minded people to connect, to get together, um, to read message boards, to try to find somebody in their state that they can uh, network with, or to try to form a group, or whatever your, whatever your intentions are. Um, it's, a, it's a meeting place for like-minded people. Now, you do have to register at Prepper Nurse, or I mean at uh, the Prepper community at my website, PrepperNurse1.com. And you'll see it. It's on the right-hand side up in the corner. It'll say Prepper, uh, PN1 Community, Prepper Nurse 1 Community, okay? So if you go in there, you do have to register. It is totally free. There is no credit card information asked, um, none of that, okay? So it's just you do have to register because it is private. So everybody off the street just can't come in and go in there. You do have to register. So just putting that out there. But it's a great resource for you guys to take advantage of because so many people had asked, how do I find somebody in my area, my state, wherever I'm at um, that is like-minded? So that's why we put together the community for you guys, okay? So just putting that out there. Um, again, also on my website, if you go to it, PrepperNurse1.com, once again, you will see store. You click on store, it'll drop down, and it'll say Legacy Foods. If you are interested in any freeze-dried foods to add to your uh, long-term food storage, you need to diversify. I'm a big believer in diversifying. I showed in my earlier video today, I got more dry goods, I got more canned goods, I got some other supplies as well, okay? But I believe that it's important to have a little bit of every different variety just to change it up. Freeze-dried foods is a big part of that with a 25-year shelf life. Um, Legacy Foods has the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. Now, I could not say that if it wasn't true, so that's why I do say that. Uh, they're GMO-free, and they're also made in the United States. So um, if you want to take advantage of that, please go to the website. You click on that. What they have available on there right now is what is available, and those orders are going out, okay? So just putting that out there for you guys. All right, so 
I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you have to say um, about the video about the couple in St. Louis. What are your thoughts? Should they have been charged with a felony? And then they were talking, um, this uh, uh, district attorney was talking about also charging them with a Class E felony for menacing. I mean, it's, like I said, guys, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Okay, and it's just absolutely amazing to me how if the narrative doesn't fit a certain agenda, they will take pick and choose different scenarios and try to make it fit whatever their agenda is. It is unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, uh, today it is. Let me see what time it is right now, and I will give you. All right, it is 5:30 as we speak. Um, we have pulled in so far today 10 eggs. Uh, now thick neck has not laid yet today. Very lazy girl, but uh, she laid yesterday, so that's okay. Um, and yesterday, we only ended up with a grand total of seven eggs for the whole day. So I was really surprised at that yesterday. It was really hot, though, yesterday. So um, right now it's like 82 degrees right now, and now it's a little bit overcast. So uh, solar, I think, did well today. We'll go check that really quickly, and then I will jump off of here. But like I said, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic, and I want to hear what you guys have to say. So uh, batteries, let's see. We got 4.4 kilowatt hours on this side, 2.4 kilowatt hours on this side for a total of uh, 6.8 kilowatt hours. The batteries are at 27.7, so they're definitely, they're in absorption, or not absorption, they're in float at the moment, and uh, we're not really bringing in a lot of power because it's overcast at this point, and it's also later in the day. So, uh, batteries are in good shape, and like I said, during the day I've been keeping this door open now, uh, which keeps it cooler in the battery room. Uh, down the road, I'm either going to put a window in here, or I'll put a fan in here, and uh you know, we will we will deal with that at that point. So anyway, um, I am going to jump off here for now, so two videos for today. But uh, I wanted to share with what I did earlier today um, in the first video. And then um, I just, like I said, when we were out and I heard that on the radio, I was like, unbelievable. So I wanted to talk about that as well and how ridiculous it is for defending yourself that you're going to be charged in if you live in Missouri. Oh, in that city, I should say. So... St. Louis, of course. But let's not talk about all the other violent crimes that go on on a daily basis. No, let's not talk about anything about that. Crazy. So anyway, uh, I actually believe, in my opinion, that that couple showed unbelievable restraint with the situation the way it was. I think they showed a lot of restraint. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to jump off here for now, guys. Remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Also remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you from reaching any of your goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive. Stay away from that negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Okay? I hope everybody's doing well. I will see you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.